Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 11 of our Let's Play series for Football Manager 2016. The first thing we're going to do today is look at the training. So, we're going to run through all the most of our guys in here and um, try and do this fairly quickly. So, I know it's um, probably not the most interesting thing in the world to watch. Radio. So, Silicon. Pretty much maxed out his um, quality, so we're going to leave him on kicking at the moment. He hasn't really made any progress there. Vision's gone down a little bit, doesn't, don't really care about that. So that's totally fine, he's doing okay. Heitinger, um, no changes, that's to be expected. We're going to leave him on the quickness there, just make sure his, his acceleration and pace don't drop any further. He's 32 now. I actually did trigger a um, year extension for him as well last episode, I forgot to mention that. Van Ryan, what are you doing? Um, you're on composure. Nee, it's probably not a real, yeah, I'm going to change that, I think. A bit of progress here and there. It's not really going to make much, um, you know, not really going to have a whole lot of changes in terms of his stats now. He's, um, how old is he now? 24, so. Um, he's probably maxed out a number of, you know, probably maxed out a couple of years ago, so. Uh, uh, um. Might as well leave it there. I suppose composure is a good one, isn't it? For always, all players, it's composure is generally a good one. Um, all right, Rita World, you're, what are you going to do? So you're on positioning at the moment. You've made a whole bunch of improvements. Um, strength, positioning, bravery. Yeah, you made lots of improvements in different areas. Um, all righty, so you're going to be playing center back, aren't you? So you've got 14 positioning. Strengths, yeah, it's okay. It's probably going to come up another point or two, I suspect, with your age. Pace, acceleration, agility, jumping, all that. All these physicals are actually really quite good now. Strength will become up a little bit, hopefully. Positioning, 14. Marking, passing, tackling, technique, 13. Heading, 12. Uh, most of his mentors up here are fairly good, actually. I think we're actually going to go do, try and do a little bit of work in marking and tackling, and then maybe come back to positioning later. So we're going to start with marking. Actually, no, start with tackling, sorry. There you go. Start with tackling. So that's him done. Um, Vigiva, it's probably not, he's not really have much changes either. 26. So he's on passing at the moment. I'm just going to leave it there for the moment. It seems totally fine. A few little attribute, attribute drops there. He's only 26, though. It shouldn't be from his age. So just keep an eye on that. Maybe he's being a little bit of a slacker. Veltman, how's Veltman going? So, I think your tackling's come up, hasn't it, from what I can see there? Yeah, tackling's actually come up to 17 now, which is really quite good. So, you're on strength. Your strength has actually come up, I think, from what I can see. Uh, it's not showing up anywhere there. It's still... Still can't see it here, so I assume this is going to be a bug in the thing that should show up here, so... Not quite sure why that's not happening. Anyway, um, that's cool. So, looks like your strength has started to come up, so... Do we want to change that? Do we want you to go into anything else? So positioning goes is good, marking is good, tackling is good, passing, probably no real point doing passing or technique or anything like that. Uh, it's probably not really going to have a lot of benefit from it. I'd probably rather stay on, um, stay on what you're already on. So, uh, no, we're going to change you actually. We're going to put you probably onto marking, just maybe get marking up to 16 as well. Just to make you, because composure is obviously very good, anticipation is really good, decision concentration really fairly good, positioning, yeah, we'll put you onto marking. Just make you, hopefully get your marking up to 16 would be awesome. Mr. Richard Lee, uh, development training. So, deep lane playmaker positioning, uh, which you have made some progress on, which is awesome. So, a fair bit of progress passing as well has come up quite a bit. Um, so your physical is actually really good. I don't really need to do any work on your physicals, even though they're probably going to improve a little bit on their own. So I'm just going to leave all those. Don't think they really need to be best. Does I suppose stamina could be potentially be a little bit better? Um, I suppose he's quite low at 12, isn't it? We're going to leave it. Um, we're going to probably work on some technical stuff, I think. Um, 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 um. We're actually going to leave you on positioning, I think. I think I'd rather leave you on positioning for a bit. I suppose passing would be fairly good as well. Tackling, maybe. We'll put you onto passing, actually. You can get your passing up a little bit. Because your technique is 14, so, and also first touch 15, so passing's probably being let down a little bit, so get up to passing a little up a little bit would be good. Leroy Awusu is just coming to the first team, so what are you on at the moment? So, you're onto tackling, so obviously you're going to be a wing back. Most of your physicals are okay. Strength, yes, would be good if it come up a little bit, but it's not necessarily you know, super important for a fullback or wing back. Stamina's hopefully can come up a little bit. Probably needs a little bit of work. Off the ball, 12, positioning 11. They could both come up a little bit. Um, the rest of his mentals are average. Um, I think marking, probably, marking, tackling. It's all these uh, technical stuff is where he falls down. It's really very, very average. Um, when you put it onto marking then, have you made much progress in tackling? Can I see? I have actually made some progress in tackling, so I put you onto marking now. Um, 
mm, I suppose probably marking is not super important for a wing back, is it? Necessarily. I need to put your positioning up a little bit, I think. I think I'd probably rather have you a little bit better in positioning rather than some marking. Um, we'll see, though. Alrighty, Boylison, how are you going? So you're working on stamina at the moment, uh, which is, hasn't really made any progress on that there. Um, off the ball, positioning, marking, parking, passing, tackling, composure. Your composure and concentration do a little bit of work, actually. So you made lots of progress. You made lots of progress in concentration, which is good. So that's come up a bit. Marking has come up a fair bit. Acceleration and pace have both come up, which is good. So you're a fairly quick player now. 15-15 for those two, which is awesome. Um, I think we need to put your, your positioning up a little bit would be good. I think most of your technical stuff is okay for this level. Composing concentration would be good if they could come up. Um, I think positioning probably is only eight, which it is obviously very low for a a defensive type player. So we put your position. Hopefully get up a point or two would be good over the next little while. Mr. Dykes here, how are you going? You haven't really made any progress for much in a while. You made positioning come up. Um, probably a point actually, which is up to your 11 now. So it's not bad. You're working on positioning, so that's probably why that jumped up. Um, most of your physicals are okay. Stamina's pretty good at 14. Doesn't really probably need to be a whole lot quicker than what you are. Most of your mentals are fairly good as well. Is there anything we can work on here? Not really, actually. You're probably thinking... Well, your tackling actually would be a good one to get your tackling up a little bit. Like, obviously, you, they, they are, like, offensive players as well, but I do like our fullbacks to be able to, like, do, you know, do some defensive work, some tackling and stuff when they need to. I don't want them to be sort of, you know, passengers out there, otherwise you might as well just play wingers. Um, oh, yeah, Serrero, how are you going? You made a lot of progress last time around, didn't you? You probably haven't done so much this time around. No, you haven't. So you're working on your passing. I'm just going to leave that there. Would be good to get your passing up a little bit more. And Manu G, you've made a lot of progress, which is awesome. Your composure's come up a long way, which is really good to say. Physicals are very, very good. Um, awesome. So you're actually a very, very good player, aren't you? So work rate, teamwork is fantastic. Um, positioning probably needs a bit of work, actually. Seems you're more of a defensive player. Um, tackling 9, marking 10, obviously aren't amazing. Mm -mm, maybe we should get your tackling up, actually. Get your tackling up a little bit. Then we're going to go tackling and then positioning. So obviously passing technique, first touch are all fairly good. So that's good. I mean, it's probably more, it's sort of more of a, like an offensive player, but it would I think he really suits the deep playing playmaker role. If we can get his defensive stuff up just a little bit more, he'll be brilliant as a deep playing playmaker because he'd really like, you know, dictate tempo from back there. David Clarkson, my main man, how are you going? Strength, technique, uh, first touch, composure, that's all good. Get all that up. Still going to leave you on passing. I still want your passing up a little bit more than what it is. Would be perfect. Um, so we're going to leave you there for a while. Hopefully you make some progress. Mr. El Ghazi, how are you going? Um, cool. So you made a fair bit of progress. Technique, pace have all come up quite a bit. Uh, what else have we got? Acceleration, which is good. So you're on quickness at the moment. You're working as an inside forward. Which is fine. Um, I would like a quick. I would like your acceleration just to be up a little bit, a little bit more. Actually, off the ball as well would actually be a good one for you to get up. Finishing first touch. Mm, maybe we should switch over to off the ball. Actually, I'm just thinking. I suppose you got twelve acceleration, fourteen pace, which yeah, it's it's okay. Maybe off the ball. Off the. I love my attacking player stuff. Off the ball movement. Really makes an enormous difference, I find. Uh, Mr. Armin Yunus. You're working on your finishing at the moment, which you've made no progress on, which is a bit disappointing. Your technique has come up, though, as has your off the ball, your pace, which is fairly good to see, I guess. Obviously, you're a very quick player, player anyway. Well, very quick um, acceleration and agility. Pace is only 13, so it's not really all that much. Mentals are still... Ugh. I don't really think you're going to be a long-term player for us, though. You've actually done... You're an 8.04 rating in the Eredivisie. With eight assists, um, two player of the matches. So maybe I'm judging too quick. Maybe the fact that he has got the, the pace and the the dribbling and all that kind of stuff. Maybe these the mentals and stuff aren't letting him down. Obviously, he's doing very very well. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah. So, Victor Fisher. Yeah, you're obviously injured, so that's fine. Mister Nui, oh, stop yawning. So what are you working on? Inside forward quickness. Your quickness is coming up a little bit. Yeah, you definitely need to be a little bit quick if you're going to be playing 
as an inside forward. I, I mean, I guess, like, you're looking at him... I can understand why he should be sort of like an AMC, like an attacking playmaker, but we're never going to play with that with someone in the AMC slot. So you're either going to have to drop back to midfield and try and be like a Davy Class and that type of attacking player, which you do do really well because you've got great technique, passing, first touch and vision and flair. Um, so, yeah. Maybe I think then... Probably that's probably going to be your long-term role then, I guess. Because here's what you're better. I would like your quickness come up, but I'm probably not, don't really not willing to sacrifice it for everything else. So what I think we're going to do, we're going to get off the ball up a little bit, um, up to 15, 16, maybe some little bit of composure as well, because it's obviously very good to have some um, composed guys in the center of the park, and maybe a little bit of finishing. Maybe we're just going to leave your stats there for the moment. Um, yep, yeah, right, we'll, we'll put you on to off the ball training then. Lasse Shone, you've had a bit, a little bit up and a little bit down. So why is that? Should given um, no significant change, benefit from individual training. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, so finishing's come up. Long shots down a little bit. Tackling down a little bit. Jumping acceleration down a little bit. Mm, agility up. Composure up. Technique up. Um, mum, 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 you're in finishing a bit, aren't you? I'm going to put you on off the ball as well, actually. You've got a little bit of off the ball trainingness. So what have you done? Technique, vision, um, coming up. You're on... Oh, we haven't set you yet. Oops. So you're a bit of a... You're an offensive-minded player, aren't you? Definitely. Yep, you are. All right. So we're going to put you on a midfield centre. Um, should put you on an advanced playmaker, actually. You're not really going to play that role. You're going to be playing like more of a central midfield role, but... That's what we're going to put you on. So what what individual do you want? Probably all your physicals are fine, really. Probably no real point to have them a whole lot more. Off the ball, yeah. Off the ball, definitely for you as well. It's only 12. I want it to be higher than that. Because your, techni your technical stuff is fairly good. Daily, 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 daily. You're just coming back from injury. You can just, yeah, so some of your stats are dropped, which is totally fine. I'm not worried about that. Um, so we're going to leave you on passing at the moment. You'll bounce all this back once you get some game time. And Mr. Milik is just been injured for a couple of days, so his strength has come up. He's made a lot, a lot of progress though, after, over the last, um, or this season actually. You can see all the, most of his stats here have come up quite a long way. It's really, really good to see. He's off the ball especially has come up quite a bit. Balance, finishing, yeah. So he's a gem. He's a brilliant, 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 brilliant player. Great finishing, first touch technique, passing, composure. Actually, I think we put you on to maybe... No, off the ball, I think is still a good one. I'm thinking composure, actually. Given you've got such a good finishing first touch, um, some extra composure would make you absolutely lethal in front of goals because your physicals are brilliant. Your physicals don't really need to be anything better for this level, so that's good. All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to run through the B team and the under 19s. You guys probably don't really need to see all that, so it's going to take quite a bit of time. So I'll be back in a tick. And we're done. So I've been through the B team and the under 19s and sorted all these guys out as well, So which is good. Um, one of the... I'm going to run through just a couple of our really, really good prospects. Um, Savastano here. Um, a defender left. He's shaping up quite well. It's only one and a half stars, four star development, so he can be a very, very good player. 18 years old there. Uh, what's his personality like? Balance. So probably needs a little bit of work in terms of his personality. Can we? I don't think there's anyone available at the moment. Oh, we've got Vegeva and Veltman. So what is your personality? Um, ambitious. Which we can see from the screen. Professional. All right, so definitely Veltman. Do we want any of your preferred moves? Um, probably not. We'll go for um, off the pitch. There we go. So obviously better personality they've got, um, you know, that sort of affects their background things in terms of ambition, professionalism, which in turn affects how they actually train and whether they actually reach their full potential. So um, yeah, so he's definitely got the potential to be a very, very good player if he develops properly. So that's good. Back life Cerny, I think he's actually going to come into the team next season. So... Um, he's got a balanced personality as well, so can we shoot at him at all? There's no one. Oh, he's been shooted by Klaassen, who's got a resolute. Oh, that's good. So that should be doing him some good. Cool. So as we can see here, um, yeah, so he, I think he's going to be very, very good. So I think he's actually going to be ready to come into the next, into the team next season on that left side. Could even come on the right as well, I suppose. He's left-footed, so actually being on the right would be a brilliant for an inside forward. So that is actually quite interesting. Cuts inside from both swings, so yeah, so I think he's, he's actually coming up really well, so he's actually shaping up really, really well, so I think he's going to be a bit of a gem. Very interested to see what he does. 
Um, there's some really good guys here is in here as well. So Donny Van Der Beek is looking pretty good. So he's a midfield centre. Um, yep, so he should be a very good player as well. So quite an offensive-minded one, but could do the box-to-box -box role if we need him to. His work rate, teamwork and stuff is quite good. Physicals are fairly good for an 18-year-old. Um, technical stuff's good and mental stuff is very, very good for an 18-year-old. So I think he's going to be a probably a future... Um, a future star there as well, so lots and lots of potential, and obviously under 19s has got quite a few good players as well. Anderson Lopez for a 12, uh, 18, 16 year old, looks really quite good, he's going to be very, very quick, should have um, good dribbling, first touch, finishing where it's well working on the finishing at the moment, um, we'll do his composure off the ball and stuff as well later on, so just give you a bit of an insight there about what we've got. Um, Alright, so, the thing here, um, Mr Nuri wants a, or well, his agent wants an improved deal, we're going to give it to him. What's his existing contract? So I think 1k a week, yeah, which is probably fair enough given that he's playing quite a bit, so. Um, yeah, so we're gonna give him a new one. We're just gonna go with use existing terms. We'll use backup, we'll go for a three year contract. We'll give you, uh, we'll give you 3k a week. You're probably gonna want a bit more than that, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Um, mum, 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 mum. You want 5.25. We'll give you four and a half. Um, yearly wage is only going to be 10%, and um, I haven't got a problem with the loyalty. I should bump up the loyalty to 50 or 60, no, 60, uh, 50. I'll just make it 60, there we go. And see if you're happy with that. Um, no, you're not getting 15%, you're getting 10%. There we go. Cool, All right, well, I'm happy to do that. He's going to be a player for us for quite a while, and it's good to lock that down. So what's our next game? Our next game is um, Vitesse in six days and then we've got one against Heracles three days after that and a few days after that I think what I'm going to do guys I'm going to actually jump ahead to the Feyenoord game so obviously Feyenoord quite a big team um, you know a bit of a, one of the more successful teams in Dutch history club history anyway so I think that's what I'll do guys we've got three games in between now and then um, I'll jump ahead and if it's obviously if anything interesting happens I'll stop, um, jump back into the video and let you guys know but um, yep I'll see you on game day for Feyenoord Hey guys, and I thought we'd jump back in here. It is deadline day. Um, I'm just going to show we're actually are, are going to take part in this one. A few unfortunate things though, and we'll jump into the games first. We've had uh, two wins and a draw, so we won against the uh, Vitesse. We had a nil-nil draw against Heracles and two-one victory over um, Rota JC there. So fairly good results in there. Um, unfortunately, we've had two fairly bad injuries. Leroy Owusu is going to be out for two to three months, which is the guy we just brought in to recover or replace um, Kenny T. That is very unfortunate, but worse for us is Veltman is going to be out for the rest of the season. Four months with a broken foot, so that sucks. Anyway, um, that's life. So we've brought in Terry, Mr. Terry Lati, 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 Lati Saniez. I call him Terry L. Um, Mr. Terry is come in, so he's not as good as... Um, Leroy, but he should hopefully be able to do a decent enough job for the rest of the season. So, obviously, have Van Ryan still as our number one. There's no way on earth we can let him go now, even though Newcastle are interested. Um, that's just not going to happen at all. And Braga are interested in Mr. Richard Lee, but that's not going to happen either, so that's fine. Um, another bit of an unfortunate fortunate thing is Jonathan de Guzman has actually been injured at Napoli. He's going to be out for four, uh, four or five weeks, I think. Yeah, three to four weeks. Um, so, obviously, we're not going to be able to sign him in this window because he wouldn't pass the medical um, fitness test. So, they actually have to take him off the transfer list as well. Um, so, he's not actually transfer listed anymore. Um, so, he probably still, like, if he wasn't injured, we'd probably still be able to get him. But um, we'll probably have to wait until the end of the season if we still want to get him. So, um, that's fine. And Ruben Jensen has agreed to the contract, so he'll be coming in um, and, and the end of the season, which would be good. So actually, I was just thinking about it. We may even look at moving, like have Mr. Richard Lee Bazaware as one of our DMs, have Ruben Jensen as another one. Um, like his position's okay, tackling and stuff a little bit average, but he's a pretty good deep lane playmaker. And then move the G up into the, like the box to box role. So actually move him up into midfield rather than having him as the deep lane playmaker. So that could even work. So we'll see about that. So anyway. Um, that's fine. So we're going to run through transfer deadline day, see if anything interesting happens here. Newcastle, so I'm expecting we're going to get at least a couple of offers in for some people. A um, whole bunch of people being offered, I'm not really interested in any of them. Because they're not um, Dutch or... Swiss. No, he's not. No. Not really interested. Um, none of these guys, they haven't really got time to 
um, scout and all that kind of stuff. So, um, 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 um. speculation that Van Ryan will be leaving. Um, they might be interested, but they have no intention of selling. So they want to put an offer in, they can, but um, I'm not going to sell them because we can't afford to lose another um, another right back. I should give a few guys games here. Give Hiding a game, um, give Bor a game, and give Duarte. Um, um, I know we'll, we'll play them in the next game, so that's fine. Um, that's all good. What's this? Oh, deadline day. Not sure. Nothing interesting. Consortium question. Nope, he'll be staying. That was Mauro Sabastaro. Whether we sent asking if whether we were sending him out alone, and no, we won't. Um, fine, fine, fine. Not a whole lot usually happens on deadline day. I mean, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but at the moment it doesn't really seem to be that much happening at the moment, which is probably good for us, actually. We don't want to buy anyone really at this stage, and we definitely don't want to lose any of our players. So if we don't get any offers come in, I'll probably be happy with that, actually. We don't really want any of that. Um, board confidence update. Confidence update. They're pleased with the management. Um, disappointing the Dutch Cup. Yeah, I know. Going out in the fourth round was disappointing. Um, so the financial fair play... Predicted to make a profit of 40, what, 45 million pounds, which is obviously a huge amount. So, haven't got any problem at all with financial fair play. So, that is good. Good, good, good. We've got our first game in the Euro Cup coming up soon. I think it's actually probably after the final game, actually. First game against Celtic. So, we have been drawn against Celtic in the Euro Cup. So, it should be, should be an interesting game. I expect we're going to be fairly evenly matched. I think we'll probably actually be the better team. I'd pretty. I'd actually back us to um, to win that one. So, seeing the Eredivisie, we're still nine points clear. So, we have lost our gap a little bit, or our lead just slightly. Having a few jaws here and there. So, to make sure that we still get, we keep, um, you know, we keep our our form on, you know, form up and keep going and all that kind of stuff. So, we'll make sure that that happens. Come on. Doesn't let anything to happen on deadline day, so it'd be good to get it over with. Mm -mm -mm. Bad injuries. A couple of really unfortunate injuries, injuries there, which is uh, unfortunate. But yeah, so anyway, nothing you can do about it, it just happens. Um, FA Cup jorts, fine. It's only two hours to go on deadline day, so it shouldn't task too long. Oh, fine, whatever. Don't really care. Let's go, go, go. Feyenoord scouting, that's fine. Look at that in a minute. Cool. All right. Excuse me. Deadline day is done. So we're going to re-register our squad. So Veltman is going to be out because he's not going to make it. Um, and Duarte, Frankie Giong are both in. So a bit of extra cover there if we need any guys, which is fine. Loan report here. It's always good to look at how your guys are going alone. Leslie De Stars actually not getting has been injured quite a bit. Uh, if you can see injuries here, yeah, he was out for quite a while. Still not really getting a whole lot of games though, so that's a bit disappointing. Um, Quincy Minig's just been out on loan. Shredder Becker's actually not getting a whole lot of games either. Lucas Anderson is though. It looks like he's actually having, having some really good development there because these, these guys are actually playing in the Eredivisie sort of fair lot. So he's actually playing like 23 games in the Eredivisie. So same with um, Zivkovic and Ruben Lagoon. So it's basically it's just as good as if they're playing in in our team. So they're getting the good experience. So Zivkovic is getting quite a bit of experience there as well. So he's going to be a good striker for us next year. First touch needs a lot of improvement though. So it's a bit disappointing that we can't. Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we can't train him, but, uh, but he's only 19, so we'll work on that next year. So if we get his first touch up, he should be an absolute, absolutely lethal player. So, Mark Vanderhoen out on loan at a, the Turkish club. She's good. He's got a lot of games, and yeah, Lucas Anderson as well. So always good to keep an eye out. And if you guys, if you, people aren't getting games, that's why it's always good to have the recall clause. Um, in your your um, loan things. So if you actually, even if you work with a def, uh, director of football, you actually set up in your personal preferences to actually make sure that every loan that you actually get sent out of the club has a recall clause in it. So that's a good way if you sort of don't you know, micromanage it yourself to make sure that's all still there. Because it is good. Um, uh, oh, that's good. So Lasse Shane is happy to stay because there's no interest from other clubs. Um, yeah, so it's always good, it's good to make sure, you know, keep an eye on how many games you guys are actually getting you know, online. So if they're not actually being played, you can actually talk to the club. If that doesn't fix it, then, you know, bring them back. So you might as well just get them, send them out somewhere else. Um, yeah, it's also why it's always, always good to send them, make sure that, you know, the loan offers you get in, that they're usually, 
Um, usually I won't send my, any of my plays out unless they actually are either first team or better. So the, like, in the starting role or the role that, that they're going to be. So if they usually is their cover. If they've been offered as like cover, um, I'm not usually interested in that. Um, yeah, usually you know, first team player or valuable first team member is usually the two ones that I, I want or you know, insist upon. So, <sighs> Morning. Um, yeah, but just make sure that if you do that, it's a little bit more likely that they're going to get some games and stuff. So, um, yeah, so saving, saving, saving. Cool. Right. So nearly gaming it's Fenord, which would be good. Not only eligible for a contract, you're only a four star, so definitely gonna give you a contract. Oops, I'll go back into this one. So I offer you a contract. Um, oh, I hate it when they do this. It's so annoying. Just damn, tell me the damn terms that you want. Um, hot prospects for three years will give you, I don't know, will give you what, give you 875 a week. Um, you're going to want appearance fees, you're not getting 5k, we'll give you uh, 675, what else do you want? Um, we'll give you a go wellness of the same, um, 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 give you a loyalty bonus of 40 and 40, you want more than this, but. Oh, cool, that works. It's a pretty cheap contract for me. Cool. Um, pleased, pleased with uh, Manu G's progress, which is good. So he has done really well. So it's quite pleasing. He's made a lot of progress this year. Not going to play any of our guys in the 19th match because they're playing in a two days. <coughs> um, yeah, so definitely want them fresh. Uh, is fine. So that's good. Good, good, good. So we've got a gap between after the Feyenoord game between our next one. So uh, we've got a game against FC Groningen in a six-day gap, and then um, what's that? Four days between, and then the um, the Celtic game, three-day gap, and then four-day gap. So it's not too bad. It's usually the start of the season for the Dutch that is, is can be quite really quite um, you know packed and stuff, especially playing Champions League football. Be very very hectic. Because Dutch season is a little bit shorter than the rest of them, even though they are less games, it can be a little bit fairly um, busy and all that kind of stuff. Um, marking out, hiding it as weak link did cause a smile. Not going to be complacent. There we go. Uh, yeah, the questions, like I've said before, I think I actually keep start automating all of the questions quite soon, like tunnel interviews and stuff like that, because they just, I don't know, they just, don't, they just really don't do anything for me. In any way, shape, or form. Alrighty, Feyenoord should be game day. We're going to jump in and have a bit of a look at that team and stuff. We haven't done this for a little while, guys, so do a little bit of analysis and see what they're all about, see their tactics, their goals, all that kind of stuff. So, Feyenoord, Singe Squad overview, and we're just going to compare. Oh, yep, that's good. So, so Jens Tunstra, Tunstra, Tunstra. Um, Terence Congolo is a good player as well. That's their left back. Who's Jens? What do you do? 26 years old, plays sort of a midfield player. Actually, I had a pretty decent player, which is interesting. Value to 2.6 million. You go on to, uh, Besik Besiktas. Interested in you, so. Actually, quite a decent player, aren't you? It's going to scare you out, actually. Always on the lookout for good players. We're going to scare you for two weeks and add you to our shortlist. Um, yeah, so they haven't got really any sort of a major, huge, like, threats that we've got to be worried about. So we're going to jump in and look at the comparison just quickly. This can be useful, it also can be not, just depends, I guess. Um, looks like they've got quite a few goal, good goal, or at least a good goalkeeper or two, so we're going to check out who their goalkeeper is. Um, defense. So the defense is a little slow from what I can see here, so definitely slower than ours, and ours isn't particularly quick. So defense is a bit slow, jumping isn't amazing. Um, pace, yeah, heading. Yeah, fairly even across the board, though, nothing really jumps out at me there. In terms of midfield, uh, nothing really there either. We're a bit more of a technical team, a little bit better passing. Actually, no, point 0.1, they're actually point 0.1 better passing than us. That's fine. What about attack? So our attack is a hell of a lot better than theirs, which is good news for us. So this suggests to me that their defense is a little bit slow. Um, their attack is very, very slow as well. It's only 10 pace there. So we don't really have to worry about their defensive line. So I think we're actually going to play our second tactic, our... Um, 5 2 3, which is pushes up a little bit higher the, up the pitch and is a little bit more attacking. So, I think we're actually going to play, play this one. So, given we shouldn't have to worry about sort of long balls, you know, getting in behind our defensive line, our guys should be able to handle that fairly easily. Um, long shots are not to worry about the long shots either. So, you know, pretty happy to sort of 
for them to do that. Um, heading and all that kind of stuff. Jumping reach is more than ours, but not really a whole lot. Uh, um, actually, no, jumping reach isn't more than ours, and their heading is a little bit, but nothing really jumps out of, jumps out of me there. So we're going to have a quick look there, just their team, actually, if their their um, player scene squad. There we go. So look at their goalkeepers, actually. Who is he? Oh, Kenneth Vermeer. He was at Ajax, so obviously quite a good goalkeeper there, so that's interesting. So who are their attackers? Oh, so they're, they're actually, and then one of their only strikers is injured. So they got a striker at the moment. Dirk, oh, Dirk Kite, Kout, Kite. That's their striker. Yes, he was obviously very, very slow, wasn't he? Cool, cool. So just a quick look at their tactics. Um, team reports, scene squad tactics. They play the same formation every single game, which is a 4-2-3-1. So stock down 4-2-3-1, which is fine. Team reports, um, goals. So, score, oh, so all, basically all of their goals are from the center of the pitch there, which suggests that they don't really, which suggests to me, I mean, you can read a lot of stuff into this, but it suggests to me, looking at it here, um, they don't have a lot of their sort of wide players coming in, um, like, you know, their inside forward sort of coming in and banging goals in from that way. It's all sort of funneled through from the middle of the pitch in one way or another. Um, they're conceded down here, not really too worried about, nothing really jumps out of me there. Assist locations is generally where I look at a little bit more. So a lot of their assists comes from the, well, it's pretty it's pretty spread over a little bit. A little bit more from the right doesn't really tell me a whole lot. And same in terms of their conceded ones, doesn't really tell me a whole lot there either. Uh, a little bit more from the left, but yeah. Not really worth changing anything for that, I don't think. Types of assists, um, crosses actually their most, which is interesting. So given they don't really have much of a heading team. Um, what else we got? Free kicks, pass corner, goal types, place shots, headers. Yeah, it's nothing really jumps out of me perfectly, to be honest. Um, this is interesting, shots actually, so I suppose you could do a lot of lot of analysis on that if you want, no? Goals, interesting. Um, senior squad, comparison, match. Oh, it's actually choose their matches and analyse, that's actually very interesting, isn't it? Cool. Um, alrighty guys, so nothing really jumps out of me there. So I think we're just going to do, all the thing I'm going to do is play our sort of our second formation. So this one, the 5-2-3. Um, 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 obviously you're right, so development can't play, so is Heidinger ready to play? You are, so put Heidinger in there. Uh, I should put Van Ryan over it, because he prefers playing on the right, Heidinger plays, prefers playing on the left, so that works out well. So we've got Lane, uh, where's um, Van Ryan? Actually, Van Ryan, where are you? Uh, are you in there? Well, I cannot see Van Ryan. Oh, he's in there. Where on earth is he? Oh, central defender. Oh. What on earth did I do then? Where's... Oh, there's hiding her there. Did I take her? Oh, I took out Redward. Oh my god, I'm going crazy. Um, right, so Van Ryan's actually going to play in space of Terry L. Um, Dyke, I think Boylison's going to play this one. He should be fresher. Yes, he is. So that works out well. Um, who else have we got? Everyone else is pretty fresh, actually. We're going to put... I suppose we'll probably play Eunice out on the left. Um, everyone's really fresh, though, apart from... Yeah. All right, what we're actually going to do, we're going to bring Duarte in, because he probably needs a little bit of game time. So we're going to replace, uh, probably Sinkgraven. Oh, no, Sinkgraven needs some game time too, doesn't he? Uh, probably Sorero, actually. Sorero doesn't really need any more game time, so... Um, Solani, Sorero, and Nuri seems in game. Yeah. All right, guys, that's what we're going to run with this team. Um, we're going to jump into the game. Any opposition instructions, as usual. Team selection, just a chain of tactic. What's the thinking? Um, pick to die, just go for the standard one. Nick the Giver is just being arrested. Um, how much of a boost is his absence? Focus on what we can do. Yeah. All right, I'm going to turn that off. They're just annoying me now. I'm not going to do any opposition instructions like I mentioned. We're going to challenge our guys to pick up because we did win our last match, which is good. A couple of little ones work there. All right, guys, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back uh, with the result. Oh, my God, that was frustrating. Oh, my God. All right, one nil loss to Feyenoord at home. Very, very, very frustrating. Um, we dominated that match, and I think we hit the post must have been four or five times. Uh, it just didn't didn't happen in any way, shape, or form. Um, but yeah, we're getting stuck into our team because we shouldn't lose that one. There we go. Um, right, so we're having a little bit. I think we're having a little bit of a form slump for some reason um, or another. So as you see here, dominated possession, shots on target, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know. We should, actually should have had a penalty as well, I think. Well, it's hard to tell in terms of the, um, in terms of the, the match engine and stuff, but I, apparently from the, you always go off the, um, off the commentary and stuff, and it sounds like it should have been a penalty, but anyway, that's life. 
Can't expect to win every single game, so I think I'm going to have to look at our results. I think we are going through a little bit of a form slump. Um, so our lead's down now down to six points, so I have to be definitely very careful of that. Yeah, so it hasn't been as good lately. I mean, sort of before that, up in this area, we uh, had the odd... The only defeats we're actually having, apart from until the, the Dutch Cup, we're actually in the, um, in the Champions League, so we've actually had a... That's our first defeat in the Champions League for God knows how long, actually. Uh, in, the, in the Eredivisie until since um, August last year. Since that ADO one against ADO Den Haag. Interesting, so... Anyway, guys, um, that's that's fine. That's life. Um, Alrighty, guys, I'm going to end, end the episode here. Hope you're enjoying the series. Um, let me know any suggestions, comments, all that kind of stuff, as always. And it would be great if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video if you haven't done so already. That would be enormously appreciated. Alrighty, guys, hope you've all had a wonderful day, and I'll see you all for the next episode.